Hello guys and welcome back again to Apri Style Yarns. My name is Nema and today we'll be making this rectangular table place mat. It's a 16 inch length and a 12 inch wide place mat with this beautiful pink detail. So let us jump straight into the pattern. So for today we'll be using this Bayoko Chunky Cake. It's a cotton blend thread. Recommended hook size is 5 millimeter. So I'll be using this brand in this purple color and in this light baby pink color. And I'll be using a size 5 millimeter hook together with my pair of scissors and my darning needle. So let's get started. To begin off this pattern, we're going to start off with a slip knot. So we're going to take the tail end of our thread wrap it up around our finger, go into that loop and pull up a thread, then just pull on your thread slowly and gently, then you have your slip knot. Then what you're going to do is chain 32 for this pattern. So yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through. Those are one, two, three, four, five. So I'll chain 25 more to make 30, then two more, 32. So what you want is a total of 32 chain stitches for your foundation chain. So I have my foundation chain complete, a total of 32 chains. With foundation chains, what I like doing is working on the back loops only, these little ridges at the back. So this is the front where you see the Vs. Then on the back you see these little bumps, so I'll be working on those little bumps as we go across. On the third chain, so I'll just on the third chain, so I'll just count one, two on this third one, I'll turn over and work on that little bump. So I'll yarn over, go into the that back bump only. And how we normally do is we pick the thread from the back just like this. But for this pattern, we'll be picking the thread from the front. So yarn over and pick from the front. That is what will make the difference in the pattern. So pick it up from the front and pull over. Then yarn over, pull through all the three. And that is your half double crochet. So yarn over working on the back loop only so that little bump go in pull up a thread from the front yarn over yarn over pull through all the three so yarn over going into the back loop only picking your thread from the front yarn over pull through all the three yarn over Go into the back loop only, pick up the thread from the front, yarn over, pull through three, yarn over, going into the back loop only, pick up the thread, pull it, yarn over, pull through three. It will take time before you get used to wrapping the yarn from the front. But just take your time so it is just a repeat of the same all the way across so just continue and i'll meet you at the end so we can finish off row one i have one more back loop to work on so i'll go in that final back loop pull up our thread yarn over pull through all the three then i'll chain one and turn my work then I'll start again working in this bottom space right here not at the top so I'll yarn over go into that space pull up a thread from the front yarn over pull through all the three yarn over go into the next space Pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through three, yarn over, go into that 
space inside that space year nova and four through three year nova go into that mid space pull up a thread year nova so it's just a series of half double crochets across and the beauty about this pattern is it's just a repeat pattern so what we do for this pattern for this row two is what we will do for the rest of the pattern the only difference is at some point we'll need to change our thread so we'll just continue the same up until the end and we will get to row three so we're in our last half double crochets for row two so we're going to go into that last space yarn over and pull through all the three what you want to do is make sure you have a total number of counts all through uh, we had a foundation chain of 32 we took off two while we were starting so we're going to be having counts of 30 30 as we go so for this row make sure you have 30 half double crochets across i'll chain one turn my work and start working in that first space so yarn over go into that space Pull up your thread and through all the three and over go into that space all three and over go into that space and for this pattern it will be a repeat of the same so just continue with the same up until the end so this is our row three so i'll i'll continue the same way so this is row three i'll get to the end of row three work row four five and six and in row seven we will be we'll be changing our thread color so continue with the same pattern it's basically a repeat and i'll meet you at the end of row six so we can change our color i'm at the end of row six and i'm about to make my last half double crochet in that last space and right here i've also made my slip knot how i like to finish off is i'll yarn over go into that final space and instead of pulling up with the purple thread i'll leave out the purple and i'll pick up my pink thread give it a nice pull like that yarn over and pull through three so that's how i change thread then chain one and turn my stitch then i'll just snip this off then in that first chain we're going to start now our rows of half double crochets and with that it's just a repeat all across so for row seven and row 8 is a repeat so I'll be using my pink thread so I'll go all the way to the end and come back again so I'll have two rows with the pink and then I'll change back again to the purple so just continue and I'll meet you at the end of row 8 because this is row 7 I'll do row 7 and row 8 so we're at the end of row 8 so I'll just switch off again to our purple so I'll go into that final space and instead of picking on the pink i'll switch over to our purple i've already made my slip knot and i'll just go in pull that through yarn over with the purple and pull through three so that's how i switch up my colors then i'll yarn over so for row nine and ten we'll be working our half double crochets with the purple the same pattern across So we'll just continue like that across so row 9 and 10 will be the purple then i'll do my final switch again back to my pink at the end of row 10. so i've finished my 10th row um on my second lap done my second last half double crochet and then here i have my slip knot 
so I'll just yarn over you go into that last space it can be quite hidden so make sure I just give it a pull and you'll be able to see it right there so yarn over go into that space and instead of pulling up on the purple we are now going to switch it up to the pink put my pink slip knot and pull it then yarn over and pull through three with my pink and that's how I switch it up then I'll chain one and turn my work then I'll cut this as we go then I'll start on row 11 and 12 with the pink the same same way so I'll yarn over going to that first space and pull up your thread yarn over pull through three yarn over going to the next space going to the space pull up a thread yarn over pull through three yarn over going to the next space pull up a thread yarn over pull through three and it's a repeat all the way around so go ahead and finish your row 11 and row 12 with your pink thread and I'll meet you at the end of row 12 so we can switch up back to our purple which would be our final color change so I'm at the end of row 12 and I want to switch back to our purple thread I'll yarn over go into that final space right here and instead of picking on the pink thread I'll drop the pink thread and loop our slip knot that I've already made into our hook and pull that up to the top now you have three loops yarn over and pull through three and yarn over and turn our work and we'll begin row 13 since there'll be no more color changes for row 13 you'll just continue with your series of half double crochets as we go across so I will work 26 more rows I'll work 26 more rows of the same just to see how far gone I'll be with the project and if I'm okay with the height then we'll stop at 26 if not we'll see if we'll add a couple more rows to go so just continue with your rows of half double crochets and make your 26 more rows to make a total of 38 and I'll meet you at the end of that of the 38th row to see how far gone we will be so I've done my 26 rows with the purple thread I'm at the end of the 38th row which is which will be my final row uh, this is the 26th row after the after the pink thread so 26 more rows this is the 26th so in total I have 38 rows so this is my final 38th row and I have achieved the length that I wanted which is 16 inches 40 centimeters so I'll just do my last two half double crochets in those last spaces and I'll be done with this pattern so in that last space I'll just go in and finish off my last half double crochet so that's the last one so I'll just chain one and cut my thread and I'm done so I'll I'll just tuck this in and we'll be done so once all the edges have been tucked in you'll have your beautiful placemat we have a total of 16 inches by 12 inches across so yeah a simple and fast way to spruce up your dining your table setting skills so if you've made it to the end of this video and you like the pattern that we put up do give us a thumbs up also leave us a comment in the comment section below on what you found most resourceful about this video and do consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell just so you can be notified anytime we put a new video up till next time bye